Hello, this is part 10 of our tutorial and uh, uh, to this stage we managed to create a scene we managed to assign interactive actions uh, for changing the materials uh, wood materials and uh, metal materials and uh, what we want to do now is to add uh, an action for interactively opening the drawer for this nightstand so uh, in order to do this let's uh, run puzzles again and uh, we can continue here adding uh, new puzzles but uh, uh, probably it's a better idea to add a special tab which we call for example animation and we will be working in this tab so it's a bit more convenient but we of course we can shift uh, just uh, somewhere and work here as well so uh, and the animation is uh, provided by the play animation puzzle so let's add it and we want it to work when we click on the drawer so add when click it uh, specify drawer as a target and play animation and for playing animation we need another selector so not an object but uh, animation selector so here it contains all the list of all animated objects so we got only one animated object in our scene and uh, we don't want it to well auto means that it uh, respects the settings that we specified in blender so for the animation so here for the drawer object we got with our animation settings so we have repeating animation and uh, we want don't want it to be uh, to be repeated so let's change it to once okay now let's check how it works yes it works so uh, it is a bit unnatural that when we click uh, on the drawer again it opens um, from it jumps to the starting position and opens again so we'd love to uh, maybe open it by the first click and then close it by using the second click and uh, we can do this uh, and in order to do this we need to remember the status of a drawer so if it uh, if it is closed or open and uh, for this purpose we can use a variable 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 let's create a variable uh, name it for example status and uh, uh, a variable is basically is a named value so we can uh, use some value let's add a text text puzzle and uh, assign uh, our variable a value uh, let's assign it closed so initially our uh, nice stand is closed in this closed state right so we initialized our variable to closed and now we can check uh, inside the when click it if it is closed or open right so in order to check we we, we can use uh, logic puzzle if so let's add it if if and you want to check 
this variable so how do we check it again in the logic where is our comparison puzzle so let's edit it and insert it to if and we will be comparing our variable which is called status so let's add uh, uh, a puzzle which obtains the value of this variable so in the variables we got puzzles for setting incrementing and obtaining a value and we'll be comparing it with some value and this value we just copy Control c Control v so if it is closed so we are checking if uh, our nice end is closed then we'll be playing the animation so let's check it let's save and refresh because we changed our state we want to refresh and let's check it so click click again nothing changed this is because uh, our logic script still uh, believes that the status didn't change actually because we didn't change our variable status it is still equal to closed it is still closed even if it is open so and it is better to change the status when uh, the drawer actually opens so once it stopped opening animation we want to assign this variable a new value open so in order to do so we need to detect when the animation is stopped playing and to do this we can use uh, this configuration icon for the play animation puzzle when we open it we can see that we got here two options and we want to enable uh, the finish slot so let's enable it and now in this slot we'll be um, receiving uh, its focus when the animation is stopped play playing so we want to uh, set the status to open okay once again let's save and refresh and let's check so uh, click opens click again doesn't open this is because it uh, changed its state status to open and now this check does not pass and the animation does not play again so this is what we wanted and now uh, let's do the opposite let's do the opposite so we want to, when uh, the user clicks again on the drawer we want it to close so how do we do this uh, again let's check the status so if the status is open again we can do this by adding another if uh, statement here and check uh, and the comparison here but we can do actually um, alternatively the same thing by clicking again the configuration icon for the if puzzle and adding uh, else if slot here so it's a bit more compact uh, uh, structure so let's copy here control c control v and insert it here and check if it is open so if it is closed it will be playing animation for opening and else if the status appears to be open already we'll be playing animation duplicate of a drawer 
but uh, we need to play it in reverse and in order to play it in reverse we can again configure our play animation puzzle by enable the first option and this will reveal some advanced options uh, from two frames and uh, speed frame and uh, what interests us is uh, the reverse it option so let's enable reverse it and leave this uh, by default so we, we won't be specifying uh, the frame range or no the speed we just want it to, to play in reverse and when it uh, stop it played in reverse we want it to change to back to closed uh, was basically it so let's save refresh and check so opening closing opening closing so that's it thanks for watching see you later